Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your mid-October to mid-November 2022 mid-month reading. Sagittarius, this is a general reading. It won't resonate with everybody, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements, your moon and rising signs, or check your, um, like if you're heavy in Leo or Scorpio, check those placements and see if you have any more clarity or guidance or uh, answers to any questions that you might be looking for. Sagittarius, if you're new to my channel, my name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. This is Force for the Trees. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. All right, I'm going to give one more quick shuffle. We're going to take an overall general look at you. Uh, where you're at right now, we're going to take a look at health, wealth, work, and love. So let us get our general energies for Sagittarius. Whoa, as they all come out. For the month and not not start a fire all right we have the six of pentacles we have the three of swords and the two of swords hmm all right um starting out in the middle with the three of swords this is a card of learning from uh, hurt heartache uh, loss, pain, suffering. Three is a card of growth. So there could be lessons learned through, you know, being hurt. Lessons learned through loss. Lessons learned through, you know, caring for somebody and losing somebody. Or um, it could be a breakup, something to that, um, you know, kind of like that. What I'm seeing here is is that this could be where you're going back to the past. You're you're thinking about, um, you know, maybe how things were, how 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 things were balanced out, maybe in the past, or how things seem more balanced. Um, Maybe coming from a place where, if it's a relationship, because Three of Swords, it can be because it has to deal with your heart, but, you know, so can friends and whatever the relationship was, whatever the situation was, maybe it wasn't fair, maybe it wasn't balanced, maybe you gave, you were the one giving everything, maybe they were the one taking everything, maybe it wasn't reciprocated, is kind of what I feel. Six is a card of balance, and it's a card of harmony and peace and success, and I feel like you had to let somebody go, or you had to stop seeing somebody, because they weren't, the, the fairness wasn't there, there wasn't a fairness, so now you're left with the decision, it's, it's like, um, now what do I do? Now where do I go? Um, you know, needing to make a decision but not really wanting to have to make that decision. You could be separated from somebody. You could be split from somebody. You could be um, taking some time from somebody because there's hurt. There's heartache here. There wasn't, um, you, you could only take as much as you could take and then you have to, um, you had to, to, to stop it or you know it's over. Maybe that's it. Maybe you know that, you know, you can't do any more. Maybe you tried and you tried and you tried and, and they're not listening. They're not reciprocating, whatever. You have a lot of thought here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. You're thinking, your communication, um, the grounded energy, the balance, the the roots, you just, I don't feel like you felt like they were, they were there. They were growing. They were planted. Uh, you might have been planting them, but the partner wasn't or the situation wasn't, the friend wasn't, whatever it was. So there's, there's heartache and there's hurt. And then there's decisions to be made again. Maybe should you stay or should you go? Or, or if you are, um, you know, if there's a, uh, a divorce or something like that what do you do what where do you go from here and it's it's like uh, give you give your give yourself a second to catch your breath but there's a decision that needs to be made you know the two of swords there's a decision that needs to be made with this all right let's see where your health is four make sure i didn't drop any more sagittarius health we have the eight of wands 
things are moving quickly. Um, things are moving fastly, fastly, <laughs> fast. There it could be, um, kind of with your health. Maybe if you've had test run, maybe, maybe you're taking care of everything at once. Like, okay, I'm going to take this whole week off of work and I'm going to go to the dentist. I'm going to the eye doctor. I'm going, you know, if you're a female, uh, doing all your female stuff if you're male doing all your male stuff if you're whatever you need to do you're doing i feel like you're you're in charge of it but things are moving quickly it's like um let's just get this all done um and i feel like if there's any tests that you've had running you're waiting to hear back from you're going to hear back from those quickly uh there's not going to be a delay Eight is a card of power so again you're taking power over your health you're taking power over your uh, well-being with the eight and it could be where this situation has sparked you maybe to go to see a doctor or go to the doctor um, if you're not taking care of your health the eight of wands is a card of telling you let's what are you waiting for let's go ahead and get this done you know no time like the present kind of energy see where your wealth is for Sagittarius wealth oh there we go we got the queen of wands and she showed up obviously in reverse so we're gonna take her um, Queen of Wands in reverse is, I feel like Sagittarius, you don't have the belief in yourself that you need to have. Maybe, maybe whatever situation was here, uh, talked you out of your empowerment, but but be, being a queen and showing up as a queen, you have to know, and if you're a male watching this, it's a, it's just a card. The queen is a card of power. It's a card of, um, you know, getting things done, uh, working, kind of setting examples, you know what I mean? Uh Passion, desire, what you want to do. I feel like... Whatever it is you truly desire, whatever it is you want to accomplish, whatever growth you want to do, something's been put in your head or squelched or squashed or um, you you either talked yourself out of it or let your partner or let a person or let a family member talk you out of it. And just because this is a queen showing up in your wealth position, uh, it could be your creativity, you could be... Um, insanely creative and you can make money off of your uh, your gifts your talents and uh, with it being a queen I just I'm here to tell you don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything because you are showing up in a royal position and you can do anything you want to do you have to have the belief in yourself and know that you know Nobody's going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. You have to not listen to the naysayers because nobody is going to believe in you 100% all the time or nobody is, you know, there's people there that just want to squash your dreams. So if there's something that you're, you know, you think you can do create creatively to, to make money or maybe you were doing something creative to make money and maybe, you know, this situation was like... Ugh. You know, that's so silly. I can't believe people, you, uh, I can't believe you actually think people are going to buy that where they were buying it. And then maybe it made you not want to do it. Or maybe you're not in the right frame of mind to be creative. So that's a possibility too. But the potential is there for you to be creative. It's just you need to step up to do it. Because I feel like it, your money's suffering because of it. Your money's suffering because of it. And you need to, um, you need to come back and take charge of the situation. All right, work. Work is world. Um, you could be finishing a project. You could be ending a cycle in a project. You could be ending a project or a, um, um, you know, like sometimes if you're like a traveling nurse, you could be in a place for like three weeks and you could be ending that and going someplace else. That could be, um, I just feel there's travel involved with whatever you're doing because it is the world card. But it's also a card of, um, a major accomplishment that you've accomplished and moving on to the next one. Kind of like if you just got out of, we'll use nursing again. If you just got out of nursing school and now you're going to be a nurse, you're going to have a job. So that's, that's kind of this, but I just feel like this is, um, maybe one area of your job that you've worked on and it's ended and now you move on to something else. Again, it could be travel. You could be traveling with work, um, 
but it is a it it's a broad spectrum i feel you know things are open for you there i think there's a lot of opportunities is what i feel for work all right and love for sagittarius we have the empress very interesting because whatever the situation is we have the empress and it's a, being in charge of yourself being in control of yourself being your creative self you know what are you wanting to manifest what are you want creating what do you want to grow if you're in a relationship um, there's a potential for pregnancy so just a heads up with that and if you're not in a relationship um, you could be looking for that person that you maybe want to settle down with if this you know if this situation I kind of feel it's love and I kind of don't I don't know you'll have to let me know but if if you're in a relationship I just feel like there's a possibility, you know, for growth that you want to maybe extend your family or extend a family or um, maybe grow the relationship or, you know, be um, able to be prosperous in that relationship, have abundance. And if you're not in a relationship, I think you're looking for that person or that part people to maybe settle down with or maybe start a family with or maybe start um, setting roots down again because I feel like whoever this was you tried or you were trying to and it wasn't uh, they weren't reciprocating but I feel like you want that stability you want that growth you want that um, you want that choice you want you want to be able to have that uh, experience is what I feel. Bottom of the deck energy, we have um, subconscious. We have justice. So again, it's a fairness. It goes really well with the Six of Pentacles. Wanting to be treated fairly. Wanting to have that, um, the give and the take and the, the balance. Bringing balance into your life, right? Bringing balance into your life. If there's a legal matter... Sagittarius, I'd say it's going to be in your favor because this is a reading for you. Um, it could be something that you maybe are worried about. It could be where the two swords comes in. Um, maybe you need to take legal action against a, a person. Um, it will go in your favor. There's going to be balance. These two cards just go directly in your favor as far as uh, whatever it is you're seeking or whatever it is that you're trying to prove or show that you have something to back it up on is what I feel. Uh, Justice is a card of Libra, if that has any significance for you. All right, all right, all right. Very interesting. Let us see what energy is uh, decreasing for Sagittarius. What energy is decreasing for Sagittarius in mid-October, mid-November? Energy is decreasing. Nope. Preparation. Preparing yourself for something. I think that's where that two swords comes in. Getting that mindset. Um... It could be with the world card where something's coming to an end in work and you're preparing for a next chapter or a next endeavor in your in your work. Um, could be with the two of swords making that decision. The, this is um, decreasing energy. So maybe you've put the work in. Maybe you know what direction you're going to go in. Maybe you have made your mind up. You know, maybe you, you've prepared, especially if it's anything legal. You've, pre you've prepared as much as you can. I, again, I feel like you have uh, backups is what I feel. You have backups. I don't know exactly what that means for your situation, but that's what I feel. And again, I feel like you're not alone. I feel like you have help. What energy is increasing for Sagittarius? What energy is increasing for Sagittarius? Mid-October, mid-November. Distance. Hmm. I feel like whatever situation this is, again, moving away from it, moving away from it, can't get away fast enough, right? Moving away from it, uh, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, 
distancing yourself from those situations, those people, circumstances that do not serve you, that do not serve you well. Again, it's it's bossing up to yourself. It's it's doing that step up to yourself for yourself for your your greater good for your greater good for your mental health um, for your stability emotional stability for your spirituality doing this for you distancing distancing yourself from what no longer serves you what no longer serves your greater good making that decision and standing firm in it all right, I'm going to pull one more card for you. Sagittarius. Ghost. Regret. Mm. You know, what I feel with this card is that if we have a circumstance or we have a situation where we get swindled, we get taken could be a friendship, could be a ghosting or a gaslighting or whatever they all those terms are uh, that people use that draw you in and then they, you know, they're not who they say, the catfishing and all the things. And then we feel so stupid and we feel so, I can't believe I fell for that. I can't believe. And I just feel, you know, you have regret for feeling the way or uh, falling prey to that. And I just feel, first and foremost, it's on them, not you. Shame on them, not you. Because, um, you know, they led you. They were the ones knowing what they were doing. And they led you into a circumstance or situation. And then took advantage of you for whatever reason. And then, you know, played with you, basically. And, you know, you cannot beat yourself up over that. Chalk it up. To knowledge learned from you know experience uh, maybe not the best experiences but still knowledge learned it says should the ghost come gliding into your life during divination it may indicate that you have some regrets to let go of holding grudges or regrets is burdensome work and it weighs us down eventually by taking actions to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. I absolutely love this deck. It is the Halloween Oracle, uh, Stacy DeMarco. It's just beautiful. It's it's a classic. What can I say? And it's true. So again, you can't feel like, uh, you know, you can't say a victim's shame on the victim for being victimized. You know, you didn't have, I can't say you don't have a say in it, but when you're led to believe something and then somebody does something totally uh, horrible and, and wrong, then you can't be held accountable in that sense. It's on them, not you. So you can let go of that and you can move forward. And the sooner you do that and the sooner you can um, bring back balance into your life, make that decision to move forward and move on. And different aspects of your life will come back into balance. You'll see. All right, Sagittarius, I thank you for watching. Let me know how this resonates. Good luck to you. Happy Halloween. Blessed Samhain for all who celebrate. And uh, if you're interested, I put out readings the first of every month for all signs uh, for committed and all signs for singles love. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you know anybody that this sounds like. Um, I really like this distance. And, and what you have to, you know, take away from, too, with this ghost card is that uh, not, only, not only do you have boundaries now that you can set up, but you also have red flags that you know what to look for. All right. Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. Until next time. Bye for now.